All right, I'm gonna do a brief instructional video to show how to uh, cable manage the Chromebook. Uh, we're focusing on the Dell Chromebook 11 with uh, the power adapters, which are on the larger side. So um, we found this to be the best way to set it up. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get the uh, power adapters into the tub now. Uh, you can see that I have the power strip arranged so that the power button's at the front so that you can turn it on and off and the cable loops back around um, and into the tub. And of course the cable is going out the hole at the back of the tub. Uh, so in this case, because the adapters are so large, it's easier to bundle the cables all together and create one large coil of cables that will sit behind the, uh, the power bricks here. And you can see that I've arranged the power bricks in line, so they're all, they'll be right in front of the large cable bundle. thing I forgot to mention, uh, you will need to make sure that uh, the cable is pulled all the way through because sometimes if it isn't, it'll get jammed in there and prevent the power strip from going all the way back. So just make sure that there isn't any extra cable in there. Like I said, you know, it's still the power button's right here, so you can actually still turn it on and off. So once the power bricks are in place, uh, you do the same thing with the small cable. So you uh, instead of individually winding each one, you just have one large coil. We found it easier to, to get them in this way. Now, one thing you want to make sure is that you leave uh, space because this is the access hole where the cables go uh, from the power box uh, up and then to the device. So once you have um, about this much cable left, uh, just enough to get to the devices. Uh, you feed them through, you can do one at a time. It's a little easier than doing it all together. And again, going into this opening on the green wall. And once you get all the cables in there, you snap the door, and there's a little, a little snap right here on the sidewall, so you just have to make sure that the door actually clicks into place on those. And there's another one on the green side there. Once that's done, these uh, depends on which uh, device you have, but some of them will have Velcro straps, so kind of just tuck that in there. And there will often be one cable or some cables that are longer than others, so I like to start with the longest cable and go to the top and I work my way down. So this is kind of a shorter one. These are two longer ones. And then any excess cable in there, you can just tuck inside. So now, these cables are got to tuck those inside, but you're ready for your devices. So load them up. All right. Now at this point, obviously you can just put the power plug in there. But again, each even amongst the Dell 11 Chromebooks, some have this uh, ferrite and some don't. So uh, this has been an issue for some people because if the cables, if this part is resting right along here, it can sometimes get caught in the door. Not caught in the door, but uh, prevents the door from being closed quite as easily. So one thing we recommend doing is if you pull out a little extra cable, you can tuck it right beside the device and then plug it in. I don't know if you can see that, but You'll have to move the device all the way over to the right side. That gives you enough space to tuck the ferrite in there so that it's out of the way. I'll just do that for all of them. And that's it, you're done. Close the door.